make it more functional. And of course, it has the ability to use two blocks. Let's look at the comments here. Ooh, heart to that. Uh, I'll give that a like. So I'll have hearts. Oh, we have that a like, why not? Uh, ooh. That's right, I'm booting up the Switch once again. Welcome back everybody, and today we are back here in the Nintendo Switch version. And of course, as you can see, I have two designs behind me. That was from testing. This is the design that should work consistently. And Bedrock Edition has Steve Blink, and that is extremely cursed. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the design here. Of course, the reason I say it's consistent, or the most consistent, is because Bedrock Redstone has no consistency. So, that means this is not 100% reliable because not, basically nothing in Bedrock um, is 100% is reliable. And I still blink. Oh boy. But I have designed this here, so let's go ahead and see it work. It functions off of some pretty janky mechanics, um, but it, it does serve its purpose uh, for the most part. So let's go ahead and flip the lever here. And as you can see, that, that actually didn't work there. Because Bedrock Edition Redstone is oh so inconsistent. There you go. So on the third try, it did work, which is, is exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, so that was the retraction. Of course, extension. Uh, I'd say extension is 90% reliable, uh, whereas retraction, currently we have it 50-50. Oh, now it's more reliable than unreliable. And, and yeah, uh, <laughs> bedrock redstone is, is, no, is no good. Realistically, if you're building a piston door in, in bedrock edition, basically, basically don't. Don't do it. Uh, so the, the people who were responding to that comment section were in a certain way correct, um, but they weren't exactly the nicest about it, which is why I did end up building this. And I mean, for bedrock redstone, I, I do think it's decent. So there you go. As you can see, it is... <laughs> I say that and it, it fails. It is mostly consistent, which is good. But when it isn't, it's not so fun. So I'm going to go ahead and just visually copy this over into uh, actual uh, Java edition so that I can showcase it a little bit better because I'm recording this on the Nintendo Switch edition and I have to press record every 30 seconds um, and it records backwards. So I'm going to hop out of this edition of Minecraft and into Java edition just so I can show things a little bit better. Okay, I am back in sweet, sweet Java edition of Minecraft where redstone makes sense and it works like it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and look at the device here in a little bit greater detail. Of course, as you can see, if I pull this lever, the extension is not exactly correct. Uh, although, if I wanted to... Hmm... Okay, that would send a double pulse through everything, um, but I think there's a way I can make this work correctly. Maybe. But uh, if I activate this piston here just by uh, updating it, because it is bud powered through this block, bud powering does not exist in the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. But as you can see, uh, we do get that full extension in a way. I'll power this block to save some audio. Um, in Bedrock Edition, this repeater from this clock stays constantly powered. Of course, uh, because of lovely Bedrock inconsistency, uh, it does unpower every few minutes for no apparent reason. 
Uh, but in Bedrock, you can usually rely on this repeater staying constantly powered and basically acting like this lever here. And if I, let's see, break that lever and do the retraction, if I time this correctly um, with the extension state of this uh, piston, actually, if I just break this block, right? Actually, that's supposed to be right there. Um, also, one taking a piston and leaving the block behind does not work, hence why a lot of this design, or this entire design only uses observers for a clock rather than dropping blocks. Uh, but anyway, if I unpower this, we will get a correct full retraction. And if I place it back, we can get a correct, once updated, full extension. Actually, I think just maybe if I put a block here, or if I do things like that, we should see a little bit more consistency uh, in the extension. Yeah, uh, it's still not timed quite right. Uh, but there we go, full extension, uh, because this repeater was timed uh, correctly so that everything retracted. But as you can see, it's still pretty janky. But let's go ahead and look at how the design is supposed to work. Perhaps I can grab the debug stick and orient this red stone. Uh, not exactly how I want it. There, that'll that'll work. Um, and then this this is, I guess, fine how it is. Um, yeah. So, the way the design works is first. Uh, well, I might as well construct what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, is this enough space? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. One, two, not a block there. Redstone uh, set to two ticks, set to three, four ticks. Can place a lever here. So it's supposed to be doing this. Of course, this is too fast for the bedrock inconsistency to actually work on. Um, so I have to basically double, sometimes even triple the delay, uh, hence why the design is kind of slow. Um, but the final block gets uh, activated with the least delay, followed by the first block, followed by the middle block. So the line for the final block starts here, and it goes whoop, down here. So you have this this underside line controls both the top and the bottom. So this repeater here follows a four tick delay into the final block of the bottom. And then the top line follows a, I believe, I, I keep thinking that uh, pistons are a half tick on extension. Uh, it's It basically counts as one tick, um, which is how I design, uh, which goes into this three tick which of course is the same delay as the bottom. And that basically takes care of the last block. So for the first block, of course the second to be powered in the line, that just gets an extra four ticks. So you have four ticks here, four ticks here, and that powers these two pistons. Um, this repeater powers this piston and this redstone on top powers this piston. Of course, once again, quasi-connectivity uh, does not exist in bedrock edition, which is not not fun to work around. Um, a lot of a lot of redstone devices need that. Uh, but luckily this easy fix or this fix is easy. And then finally for the final delay, you have four ticks, four ticks, four ticks, so that's 12 ticks in total into this center line. And of course, uh, let's see. I can do that. Uh, not what I need. There we go. So that's what it should look like uh, on Bedrock Edition. And once again, we have a similar thing. The repeater powers the bottom piston, which you can't really see. There it is. And the redstone powers the top piston. And that gives you the full extension. And of course, it is the same principle for retraction as well, um, which is why this repeater here has the longest delay. So 4 becomes 12, so yeah, that's tripled. Uh, 2 becomes 8, so that's actually quadrupled. 
um, and one becomes four, so that's also quadrupled. Um, but it does mostly work. Uh, it is mostly consistent. That's the best I can give it for a uh, bedrock edition device. And of course, the reason I have to use this janky uh, observer path here is just so that I don't power any of these pistons when powering this block, which of course means that there is no redstone on this final line or on this final layer, which means I can go ahead and surround this by blocks, which is the idea behind the original design for Java Edition. I'll put that in the end cards. But hopefully this satisfies that one commenter's eight month old request for a redstone device. But anyway, that's gonna do for today's episode. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I, I doubt I'll be doing any more uh, Nintendo Switch Edition Redstone, uh, just just because it's it's Redstone is infuriating in in Bedrock Edition, so I think I'll I'll like to stick to Java for the future. But that's gonna be it for today, so I will see you next time. Bye.